Now, if we look at painting this glass, the flowers are pretty straightforward, but then some of the colors in the background are going to be a little bit more difficult. And then, of course, you've got this metallic element, which has got different shades of gray and maybe a little bit of brown color in it. And of course, this area, this object here has got quite a bit of detail in it. So start off with a pretty straightforward object. First of all, we're going to paint the flower. So I'll mix up and test my yellowy color. That looks a little bit bright to me. I'm going to tone it down, probably going to add a little bit of brown to it. See what that looks like. That looks a bit better to me. So I'm going to start off by painting these elements carefully. I know there's more fine detail. These very fine brown lines there, which I'll need to paint at the end. Of course, the yellow is lighter. So I'll be able to put those darker areas on top. A little bit more finish off. So if we stop there, so now we wait for that to dry a little bit and now put in these darker areas. Now when I look at this picture, these darker areas are a darkish brown. Might not be quite as dark as that. So I'm going to perhaps add a little bit of yellow in with them to lighten up the color. I think that's probably okay. So now it's important because it's so fine, good quality brush twisted into a point to now try to put these tiny little details in. If you're just looking at the tip of the brush, this little part in the middle there, you should be able to paint with almost the one or two hairs which just go into the very tip of the brush. Look how low down I'm holding the brush to put these fine little details, etc., into the brush for the flowers. In the background, you've got these lighter, we've got some green colors, we've got some lighter grayish colors too. That's probably one of the first areas in this painting you will consider mixing a color, but instead of lightening it with white, you're going to lighten it with water. So for example, I can see a brownish color in here. It's not quite as dark as that, but maybe if I think about lightening it with water, it'll give quite a nice effect to give it that transparency for the glass. Now obviously I know there's a few more flowers to do around here if I was going to complete it. But remember this is my practice piece. This area of course is going to be a straight colour to match so when I look at it I'm thinking there's a color going down the side of this square section which looks a tiny bit darker this to me I would start off with a white color and I might add a little bit of brown to it but perhaps not these two browns I might add a bit of this brown to it might add try even a bit of yellow to try and match that color when it comes to this area, again, it's a greyish colour. So if we start off with a little bit of black, 
just change the paper and some white. Part of it there is a bit lighter, but this is what I mean with lightening with some water. So you can see now what I'm doing, painting this this quite watery colour. This area on the top is much lighter, so I'm just going to take a clean brush with almost no paint and not much water and blend that up into this light area. And then obviously down here you have a bit more intense black to blend in, but quite a small amount. So if I start blending this darker colour in. Moving it around using my blending skills to accurately blend that and make it look a bit more three-dimensional. Then of course right at the end we need an incredibly thick black with our fine paintbrush to paint these two dark bits of cloth which are joining this metal section onto the other piece. And then obviously when you do the background again this is going to show up quite well so when for example at the end when i do the background i'll probably be incredibly careful because i can see a little white outline where the light is catching it so instead of painting the back right up to the line i'm going to want to leave a little white outline like that before i paint the rest of it so it gives a sense just like in the photograph that the light is catching the edge of the metal section so there's some examples of how you might paint the flowers the metallic areas when it comes to painting this or painting these fine details if you have this little kind of figure in it then you have to work out how to do that yourself just like you have to work out how to mix this quite difficult green like a turquoisey green how do you mix that that's going to be really difficult to get it's going to be interesting those of you who have that how close you can get to it